Welcome to Nibbling with the Neighbors. Hey everybody, so we're doing another Nibbling. We haven't done one in a long time, but we've got a guest chef here today. We've got Kirsty Scott. Hello. And she's going to make what? Chow mein. Chow mein. So uh, she's going to go over some of these um, ingredients before we, uh, we dig into it. We're going to have some onion powder, black pepper, garlic powder, poison sauce, soy sauce, and then I'm going to be using to saute the vegetables canola oil. And then I'm going to add this in towards the end. They're water chestnuts, already sliced. And then mini sweet corns. And then, of course, the main ingredient, the chow mein. This is the stuff to get right here. It's already cooked and everything. You don't need to do anything with it. Except for, you know, obviously add it all in. And then you got your little green onions. And then chicken. And what I did was I cubed it up. And I put it in my own marinade. It's basically all of these spices you see right here with the hoisin sauce on the inside. And the thicker portions, I just slice them in half. So all of these are already in there? Yes. And how long did that saute for? All overnight. Overnight. Yep. And then for our fresh vegetables, I have some carrots and onions and garlic as well, mixed. And that'll all be going all in there right now. In the okay. It's however much you want, really. Let's get started. So you don't need a lot for stir fry. Going on in. That's exactly what you want to hear. So this is enough for four people. Yeah. Okay. So and uh, how much onion did you put in here? I put in a half of a really large onion and about ten carrots each. Okay. And just give it a quick stir. Try to get those coated. And I use this to not scratch my pan. I'm sure there's better options out there, but you, know, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> All right. Alrighty, so my carrots have reached the tenderness that I am looking for, and my onions are translucent as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss in the chicken, and I made myself a little pit here in the center. And all you gotta do is just pour it right in, like so. Let it set for about a minute, and then you and stir it around as well. My pan on the right cooks a little faster than this one. So, and while I'm doing this part, I got all of my things, you know, prepared and ready to go for the next step. Alrighty, so I'm gonna just go ahead and stir this all in, get it all nice and combined. That's what you wanna see on your chicken. Getting it nice and brown. <laughs> brown. <laughs> so I'm keeping brown beef, right? I just like to get it all infused, mixed in. Chicken takes a little bit longer to cook rather than beef, so this will be about 15 minutes or so, 15, 20 minutes. Some of them are bigger chunks too. I try to make them all about the same size for more even cooking. And I do with this one too. Look at that nice brown. It's gonna have really good flavor. I'm going to add in the noodles and just drop it right on top just like that. And I gotta do the other side as well. So these are our noodles that were already pre-made. Pre-made. They were yes. already boiled already and ready to go and put good. in the package. Yeah, and they are already uh, pre-greased as well, so I don't have to add any additional canola or anything like that. So and typically at this point is when I start adding in my poison sauce and things as well. So typically what I do is I season everything to taste. Nothing is measured. That's the way I cook. Everything. And I always cook for an army. Why? I don't know. Don't know. Looks like chocolate. I know. And then I don't add a whole lot of this. Literally just a pinch. If I had opened it. It's brand new. There we go. I add in just about that. Just like that. That's it. No more. Everything else has already got enough salt in it. Okay. And then 
I'll go ahead and throw in the pepper. And that's not the end of the hoisin sauce. I might add more when I'm done with this. But I just won't know until I get everything infused. Several shakes of that. Garlic powder. All right. Then we gotta do our onion powder. And this one I got from the 99 Ranch Market. Um, has parsley in it. That's not gonna hurt your food. If anything, you'll add more flavor. And All then, right. the next thing. <laughs> it's like this. I know there's better ways and cleaner ways, but. Whatever works. This is just my way. It's kind of like you're tossing a salad, except for it's uh, searing hot chow mein. You know? <laughs> right. So everything seasoned the way that I wanted. I had to go back in again and do just the same amount of seasonings as previously. And so I'm going to go ahead and add in my green onions now. I'm going to do that in both of them. I typically don't do that until I'm almost done because. I'm pretty sure you all know what these taste like when you uh, saute them. I mean, they're good, but, you know. And then I like to add in the water chestnuts as well. And they're sliced. You can get them whole and slice them yourself. Totally up to you. Don't have to have them either. And then I add in mini corns. These have been previously drained as well. <laughs> and they're going to out. There. I do these for color and presentation and because I like them. And they're good in salads, too. You might have to take out one or two to just get it to come out. And water chestnuts as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and mix this all up the same way you all saw me do previously. Just like this. Pretty much to get it all infused and warmed up and maybe a little bit of char. Maybe. <laughs> As I'm like dropping stuff, the dogs are loving It's alright, the dogs will clean up after you. But yeah, this is what I'm after. See all of these colors? All those colors, you got the orange, the green, the yellow. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is my goal. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so this is the finished product right here. Just chow mein. So, and this is my version. So, hopefully, you know, maybe I gave somebody some ideas, who knows? All right, so we'll just put these in bowls, and we'll chow down, and we'll let you know what it tastes like. Sounds like a plan. Right, Val? Okay, so that's it for uh, Nibbling with the Neighbors uh, this week. Um, we've already gobbled a whole bunch of it down, so and nobody would talk because their mouths were full. So, it was very tasty. I hope you like it. I hope you try it out, and we will see you next time on Nibbling with the Neighbors.